Hello and thank you for joining us here at the AWS studio at MWC 2025. I'm Charlotte Kahn and today we're going to discuss how to drive success in telecoms with DevSecOps. Our guest is Emilio Salvador. Emilio, you are Vice President of Strategy and Developer Relations at GitLab. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. So, Emilio, your company, GitLab, describes itself as the most comprehensive AI-powered DevSecOps platform. You are basically a one-stop shop for companies to manage their entire software development lifecycle. Tell us more. That is correct, is that GitLab is a unique platform that enables companies of all sizes, all developer teams, to build software and manage the entire software development lifecycle. That goes all the way from planning, developing, testing and deploying those applications, always with privacy, security and compliance in mind. As you can think, I mean, every company today is a software company, so software is becoming an integral component of every business. So you're offering a really unique in the industry. We are, we are. We are in probably in the most uh, innovative industry in the world, which is software. So tell us about your relationship with AWS and how you support companies, and in particular companies in the telecom sector. Yeah, our relationship with, with AWS has been growing significantly over the last few years. So companies, especially in the telco industry, in the telco sector, can benefit from the best of both worlds. On one side, they have the best cloud provider with a spread of services that no other competitor has, but they also need to develop software. They need to develop software in a, in a secure and cost-effective manner. Developer productivity, gazillion of applications, biggest teams ever, and the combination of both worlds give companies a competitive advantage that they didn't have before. But the partnership is not about using our technologies. At reInvent, just a few months ago, we announced a strategic partnership between AWS and GitLab, where GitLab will be adopting Q as some of the underlying AI capabilities that we bring to a platform so if you think about what AWS is building in the context of artificial intelligence and how can developers can benefit from those, um, those advantages, not only into software development, but also into helping them manage the applications that they are deploying, we are coming up with some unique solutions to the market. So tell us how you are helping telco companies in particular alongside, of course, AWS. Um, since the sector is going through this phase of huge transformation, they are transitioning from telcos to tech cos. That is correct. And it's like telco companies are becoming like many other companies, software companies. As I said before, is that software is becoming an integral part of every single thing we do. Everything that we look around us, there's a device and there is a piece of software. There is a development team telco companies now to control the software process and the way how that software is built. There's plenty of regulations coming up across both sides of the ocean. Security, privacy, compliance are key. Having full visibility on how your software is built, developed, deployed, where the security risks are, how to face them and also be compliant with them is critical to every business. And telco, like many other industries, is, is a key segment. So Emilio, to conclude with, what's key to drive success in telecoms with DevSecOps? What's key, it's about ma making software development a key component of your business strategy. Having security and privacy in mind, understanding how AI can enable your developers to innovate faster, but also do that in a cost-effective way, in a way that you increase developer productivity and you are able to innovate faster because you can develop software better and more secure than your competitors. Well, that's a very compelling message and maybe a call to action for the industry. Thank you very much, Emilio. Thank you Thanks very for much. for joining us today. Thank you.